Mounts, BBG, Chapter 18, Sentence 8. Starts with, the you know, if you look here at the very beginning, post-positive day, very, very common. So you're going to move that to the front. And you know that if it's in narrative, that generally in a narrative, you're going to translate day as and because it's simply a marker, like an event marker. You know, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then. Okay, so uh, in this case, and Jesus, and we see that Jesus is going to be the subject. So that's not hard to, to spot, right, with that definite article. So Jesus, and then apocrinitai uh, is your verb. So that's natural order for us. Uh, what you want to notice there is this tie si end, uh, this tie ending, um, and again with you know your present passive endings, my side tie metha is the end tie. You notice that that's third singular, um, and then you got to memorize. You know, remember the word you memorized. Hopefully, is apokrinomai. And as soon as you hear yourself say apokrinomai again, you're dealing with a deponent. Uh, and apocrinomize, I answer. So here it's he answered, um, or he answers, except for the fact that it's you, you have a, a subject already specified. So, and Jesus answers, okay? Uh, and you notice I said answers because it is present, but this is another case because it's in narrative and it's already taken place. This is another case of this historical present. So you are justified to translate it as a past, but make sure you understand that it's technically a present. Okay, so Jesus answered, and then you have this, which is a plural, and as soon as you see that iota sigma, that ought to tell you it's dative plural, but... Um, you know, uh, one of the things that you need to know about this dative plural is that um, it follows a verb of communication. As soon as you see that it follows a verb of communication, you say, ah, probably dative of direct object because it follows verb of communication or cognition. In this case, verb of communication. So, therefore, the, the correct translation is not Jesus answered to them saying. That would be incorrect because, again, what you have is this uh, verb of communication which takes its direct object in the dative, so it's simply, and Jesus answered them, saying, and then here's his quote, there's your quotation mark, and here's his quote. Uh, he gives you the verb, has come, but then it's the subject is immediately following, and it is definite, so you're going to say the time, or the hour, or the season, um, you know, if you translate it as the hour, you understand that it's not technically that particular hour, but, um, you know, the sort of the, the general time, you know, that kind of thing. So, uh, in any case, the hour has come. Then you have a henna clause. Uh, henna is, uh, or henna, however you want to say that, is either uh, that or in order that. Uh, in this case, it's it's... A little bit awkward to translate it as in order that so you get the same idea translating as that in this particular instance so the hour has come that uh, and then you have a verb and we'll come back to it but then you see here the son of man and there you've got your nominative singular so you know that's the subject of this clause and then you have your verb. So the son of man, you should know, hopefully. Uh, and this is one of those cases I tell people because they always want to translate it as, you know, man's son or that kind of thing. And I'm like, this is one of those places that, you know, just because of the tradition of son of man and the, the phrase son of man, we translate it as son of man every time when we see that genitive there at the end. Um, you know, uh, in any case, you know, it depends on what you're talking about. So, um, still possessive. Then you come back to the, to the verb. He might be glorified. And then you see this A at the end. And he, while he gave it to you, I just want you to see this A. Because, again, that's, that's a passive, you know, that's going to tell you it's a passive ending. And in this, uh, well, actually, this tells you it's a passive ending. Uh, and that's what you see, that he's glorified, all right? Or he might be glorified. So, uh, in any case, reading through the whole sentence one last time, and Jesus answered them, saying, The hour has come that the Son of Man might be glorified.